What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. So, <clears throat> interesting. The Washington Commanders have literally had probably the worst week on record. First of all, having literally the name change. And the name change was so bad that the woman that they actually had doing the MC of the event is sitting there talking about how big the jerk jacket is that they got for it. You mean you couldn't even get her the right size jacket? Did, did you literally just put that thing on that morning and say, oh, shit, wear a jacket? And it's like, well, I don't have, it's okay, just, it's cool, just wear this one. You literally have jerseys that look like they're stolen from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and come to find out there's a team, San Antonio minor league team, you got their your motto, take command, from them. I mean, it was just bad. And it's just all the memes and everything else that went on with that. You know, you literally had Bleacher Report come out with Gridiron Heights calling it the toxic waste dump that I've been calling it for years. It's been crazy. And that alone would have been enough. But then, of course, during that time, you had five new allegations with the people putting the allegations on Capitol Hill. Not at a Gruden or um, your GM or any of the lower lackeys. Directly at Dan Snyder. You literally have congressmen saying, we may be calling Dan Snyder up on Capitol Hill. So you got that going on. That going on. And you're hearing some of the stories that are it's just bad. You have the NFL basically saying, well, we've completed our study, but we can't release it unless Dan Snyder says it's okay. So the NFL has kind of pushed it all on Dan Snyder to make it look bad. Okay, that's bad enough. That's bad enough, I mean, for any team, any team. But then, sadly, th this is tragic. It comes out that Desizer Everett, a special team player in safety, who was in a car wreck in December, a deadly one, unfortunately, going 90-plus in a 45, rolled his vehicle over and killed his girlfriend. It's tragic. He's been charged with manslaughter. So you have the terrible name that people are calling him, you know, go commandos, go commando. Go commando or, or can't wait till they play Kansas city. So we can say, you know, commanders in chief. Okay. Uh, you know, we, we got people saying, you know, the Washington commodes or the Washington commies, you got Dan Snyder, you know, with sexual allegations, you've got a player arrested for involuntary manslaughter. And then to top it off, here we are at the NFL honors. And one of your cornerstone pieces Jonathan Allen, who you name as your NFL man of the year, having to apologize because he said he'd like to have dinner with Hitler. I got nothing. I, I got nothing on that one. I I, I really don't. I, I don't. I, I don't even. Okay. Moving on from that. If that wasn't enough, you have your coach who says we're open to all options at quarterback. Oh, before that. Before that. We had all of the Washington fans going crazy because last year when Russell Wilson was trying to get power play, you know, when, when his agent said, you know, Dallas would be one of those places that he'd like to play. I don't remember 
that being said about Washington on that short list. But be that as it may, somewhere in there, he was he said he wouldn't mind going to Washington. That was a year ago. So then a Washington player at the Pro Bowl happens to take a picture with Russell Wilson. And, of course, that rekindled all of the talk media in Washington about Russell Wilson going to Washington. We can get Russell Wilson. We can make the deal. You know, all, all, my, all my buddies, you know, my son Rio and, um, and, and all the other YouTubers there are all talking about, oh, man, you know, hey, we got the new name and the Cowboys laugh now. We're going to get our quarterback and we're going to be up there where we belong. Quarterback in Washington should be an oxymoron. Quarterbacks go to Washington to have their career die. It's a curse against quarterbacks. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter what your pedigree is. It doesn't matter what you did before you got there. When you get there, your career will die. Donovan McNabb, RG3, Alex Smith, Dwayne Haskins. Everybody, the only one that's gotten out alive is is Kurt freaking Cousins. But he's been permanently scarred by being there. So, all week long, Washington fans have been excited about Russell Wilson. We can get Russell Wilson, you know. My man said, well, you know, if we give up three number ones and a player, you know, that, that's great, man. We, we, we got the guy. Okay. It can be like the uh, Matthew Stafford trade. And your coach said, you know, we'll look into all options on getting ourselves a quarterback, be it the draft, even though the draft, you know, reports are basically saying, if you need a quarterback, you might want to wait till 23. Instead of selling all out, this class is not good. Next year's should be better. The prospects that are there now will be better at 23 than they are on 22. So you may want to wait on that one. So, of course... He says all options are open for trading for a veteran. You got rumors, Russell Wilson. Well, that list just got a little shorter because Russell Wilson says, I want to stay in Seattle because I want to have the opportunity to win another Super Bowl for the team that drafted me. At least at this moment, he's all in and staying in Seattle. I guess he looked over and said, Washington? Do I want to be on the skid row of the quarterbacks that careers have died going there? Playing on that field where tragedy happens to players? Eh, I'm good in Seattle. So, for Washington... Their bad week just got a little worse. But, hey, there's still Jimmy G. He might be a possibility out there. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you all. And I always love it when Washington is in pain. I love it when they're in pain. So, Washington fans that have been thinking about Russell Wilson coming, 